All right, we got my dad Ram 250 diesel truck here. 92, old motor. So anyway, I know the battery is pretty well 100% dead just about. The locks make noise, but the windows won't move, so I know it's pretty dead. So we got this new uh, heavy duty jump starter here. It's a tire inflator and jump starter combo. I don't have the part number right now, but anyway, here's the unit. I use this before my race bike for pumping up the tires, so I know the tire pump works. So this is a 6,000 amp jumper. I've been using my 2,000 amp jumper over here, which is not quite big enough. It won't start from a dead junk battery, but close. So hopefully this will start from a basically 100% dead battery. I don't remember exactly how this worked yet, but typical me. There's your tire inflator on the back side. So somewhere in here there must be some cables. Otherwise you couldn't start it. I'm guessing something through here. Fancy book. There's a cable right there. So they got one long cable, one short, which is not nice. Makes it hard to use. Looks like you can charge it up here with your regular house outlet. And this one here is a cigarette lighter outlet, which we have on this truck somewhere. So we can charge it up if the battery was any good. So where's this thing plug in at? I'm guessing plugs in right there. Of course I've tested this months ago so I don't know how to do it. Basically you hook it up. Let's see what happens. In here for, it hasn't moved from the spot in three months, so it's nice and dirty. Yeah, I'll just lay that on top of the battery because that's all we got room for. This has a nice big battery in it. Yeah, this diesel has uh, big heaters in the intake port, so it sucks a lot of juice to start it. Okay. Whoa. Okay, it's powering up the truck there, that's what all the sparks are all about. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Inflate. I don't want to inflate, I want to start. Where's the start button at? Let's see. What's that do? 100% charge. That must have been the on button. Not sure what you do to make a jump start though. Let's see if it's got any juice in it right now. That'd be too easy. I doubt if that's got enough juice to do squat like that. Let's find out. Oh, it's powering up everything. Damn, it started right up. Slick as crap. Oh, decent. There you go. That was easy. Shut that sucker off. Try it again. You gotta wait for the lights to go out for it to start. There we go. Alright, that is definitely a high output starter. Jump box. That started like there's nothing there. That's all right. Cable warmed up. Yeah, the hot. This cable's hot right in here. Definitely suck a lot of juice. I guess in that button twice, turn the headlight on. Yeah. Let me turn that crap off there, the thing. Okay, steady light. Can't be not shut it off. Hmm. Just gotta read the instructions. Oh, there it goes. It went off on it. Like I said, this is the tire inflator, so we pump up the tires. I think it's good to 150 psi. So it'll work on these truck tires and run 80, 90 pounds in. So, looks like they got air in them, but I'll check them later. 
All right, I gotta go use this truck, so I had to go start up real quick. All right, so I'm happy. It jump started really nice. So this is the whatever model this thing is, 6,000 amp, I guess. I'll get some other info later for it. But anyway, it started up really nice. Didn't even know the battery was completely dead, but it was. All right, that's it.